Hey everyone, this is Eli from checkit.com here with a Photoshop tutorial on everyone's favorite day of the week, Tutorial Tuesday. And today I'm Twitch live streaming this tutorial. Super cool. It's a new thing that I'm trying out. You can go to twitch.com slash I'm good and check it out. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link on the screen. It's just really cool because you guys can talk with me real time, ask questions, you guys can request things real time. It's just super cool. Okay, so today what we are learning is something that was requested by this man. Where where is it? Okay, okay, no, no, not not Trump. Not this man. This man right here. Diego Gallegos. I, I totally butchered that name, but he requested this. A tutorial where you make someone half and half. Half your face is you and the other half is someone else. So I went and I grabbed a picture of our president, Trump, and I don't have anything against him like a lot of people do. I, I don't. Brandon and I have used Obama in a lot of tutorials, so why not use our new president? Trump. This is the product that you do. It's just a professional face meshing, face split, face blending. Brandon and I have actually done this quite a bit. So I'd love to show you guys our way of doing things. This effect is very versatile. The effect basically revolves around a mask. If I paint in stuff, swap it. I need any more opacity here. If I paint in stuff, it'll erase real time and then if you want to fix anything it's very forgiving it's a, it's a very versatile effect amazing don't forget to give the video a like and uh, leave a comment on this video as well because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video so you'll be seeing all those favorite comments at the end of the video so stay tuned to the end of the video also make sure to go to check slash downloads because you'll get all the project files that you saw here today they're for free all right so with that let us make a new project file here. Oh, it's over here. Okay, let's bring that over here. Okay, I'm just going to do a 1080p, or not 1080p, a 720p file here. You guys can make it whatever you want. I'm not, I'm not the boss of you. So, just do, do whatever your heart desires. Um, I'm doing this mostly for the thumbnail, but you guys can make it whatever you want. Alright, um, next we're going to grab the files. Just go up to here file explorer I mean or you can just go to your desktop it doesn't really matter I'm just going to click and drag these into here versus Carson this is my nephew Carson he's 13 years old and uh, he helped me out because Brandon's gone so I needed a model for my tutorial if you guys remember Brandon and I always modeled for each other's <laughs> tutorials so uh, Carson helped me out today super awesome uh, all right sweet bring his head up a little bit sweet okay check mark next is the Trump so much hate for this guy and I don't even know why so the trick for this this part right here is to line up the eyes I always go for the eyes mostly because um, that's, that's what Captain Insano always did but it's also the easiest way to line up the whole picture if, you, if the eyes are in line the rest can kind of be um, warped around the picture I'll, you'll, you'll see more in the in a little bit but for right now just know that we're going to move this picture and we're going to transform it according to the eyes so I'm gonna click and hold shift and alt while uh, dragging this corner and just size it up I like to put the eyes beneath the set of eyes that we're trying to line up with and then kind of tilt them until until they look good okay, I'm gonna Zoom in a bit, maybe make them a little tiny bit bigger. That's what she said. Uh, too big, that's also not what she said. Um, smaller, twist it a little bit. Girl, you know what I like. A little bit smaller here, that's not what she said. It went. Okay, sweet. It's looking pretty good. We toggled the transparency here. We can see that um, I'm lining up the retinas here. It looks really really good and we're gonna hit that check mark and now you'll see that it's lined up pretty well it's not perfect but that's fine what pictures will be perfect none and that's why this is so versatile so next what we're going to do is we're going to uh, right click on the Trump layer actually we're gonna make sure we're right clicking off of this image here this thumbnail uh, just so we can get to rasterize layer here 
And now that it's rasterized, now we can start editing it. So let's uh, throw a layer mask on top of it. That's, that's, that's this button down here. Now this is where things get complicated. So I'm going to walk you through things. So if you hit B, that'll bring up your brush tool. Um, then you'll see down here that I have my foreground and background set to black and white. Now I'm going to be using a lot of shortcuts here. That's why I'm telling you that it gets a little complicated. Shift X swaps your foreground and background. That's, that's the fastest way to do things. If you use your left bracket, it'll size down the brush. If you use right bracket, it'll size up the brush. And if we go up top, you'll see that we can mess with the, the size and the hardness here. Uh, I'm going to put my hardness down to like 5%. You can make it whatever you want. We're going to be fixing this and this is this effect is totally up to you anyway. But um, for right now, I'm just going to leave my, my brush size up there. I'm going to select the layer mask right here. If you see, we can actually go between these two layers here. But um, we're going to select the layer mask. And then if we click on here, you will see that if I'm as I'm painting in this layer mask with black, black will get rid or erase the Trump picture, but it's not actually erasing it. It's just masking it according to the color black. That's why this is so powerful. I can just erase as much as I want. And if I, oh, oops, I went too far or something. I can hit shift X and then paint in white instead. And that'll bring back that photo. I'm actually going to swap back and I'm going to erase a little bit more up here. A little bit more of the nose. I'm also going to swap back and get a little bit more of the mouth into here so I can mess with it. Okay, looks good. Now I'm going to hit V because I like going to the move tool. Next, we're going to select the Trump layer itself, making sure that um, the opacity is set to something like, like 75% is fine. Then we're going to go up to filter and go to liquify. Now, uh, making sure that the show image is on, just so we can see the whole Trump image. We're going to zoom in using the scroll wheel. And let's actually just move the nose and the mouth. If you can see, you can see Carson's lips in the background. And we want Trump's lips to be lined up with Carson's lips as much as possible. And we're not using this side of his face. So we can mess with this all we want and it, and it won't matter. So that's why I'm just kind of lining up his mouth as much as I can on the right. Because it's already erased anyway. Now we just hit OK. And now we can zoom in and yeah, it's actually looking OK. The nose is still a little messed up. So if we go back up to filter. Okay, let's bring the nose up. Line her up there. Does not have to be perfect. Nice, okay. Here we go, that looks a little better. Uh, Trump's nose looks super messed up though. I think it got kind of messed up in that mask, but it's okay. We'll use more of Carson's nose. You guys can always take this slower if you want. If we reselect the Trump layer here and bring up the brush tool by hitting B, we can zoom in on the nose. Come down to here and just kind of um, swap this. Oh, too much. Control Z to undo that. The opacity is set all the way up, so let's bring that down here. <laughs> you see, you can always fix it. It's not that hard. As she said, okay, move tools, fine, cool. Now, as for that, zoom in here, layer mask selected, hit B again, and let's just start erasing some of this as well. Bring Carson's lips up. And it's not lined up as perfect as I want. So let's actually go back into it, go back to liquify. Size down the brush by hitting the bracket key. Move the lip up a little bit. So it's matched up like that. Okay, now it's lined up much, much better. Select the mask again. I probably want to swap that. Bring Trump's lips in more. So he has some like weird chin thing going on. So <laughs> let's 
swap that back and get rid of his lips right there. A weird thing going on there as well. Blend this a little bit more. Bring the opacity down. Okay. Now if we swap that, we can bring back some of this very lightly. If we just go on top of it. I'm just doing some very, very light editing here. Very nice. Okay. Now we can also some of that. Actually, let's go the opposite way. Bring some of Trump's face into this. Okay. Now the hair is seriously <laughs> is up to you. I'm gonna teach you guys some tips and tricks to kind of make it blend better. But you need to keep in mind that. You need to make the decision for yourself. Who do you want this picture to be more based off of? I would rather it still resemble my nephew Carson a little bit more. That's just me personally. Um, but as for the hair, Trump has this crazy swoop going on. He also has this white thing going on up here. So in order for us to make it blend better, we're going to have to burn the picture. So let's go let's select the Trump image itself. Then we'll go to the burn tool right here. We can just hit O. The burn tool is what will make it darker. So if we go to the hair and we make sure the exposure is turned down and kind of go on top of it, let's make it blend in a little bit better. Do you see that? Um, as for the swoop, it is all personal preference, like how much you want to bring that swoop in. Um, I'm keeping the white a little bit in there so it's more of a mix but it's it's truly truly up to you I'm not the boss of you uh, also we might want to burn the nose a little bit because his skin is not the same color as my nephew Carson so burning the image a bit um, in certain areas uh, could could potentially make it look better that's a little bit too much that's a little bit too dark as well so if we go back and we go to the dodge tool dodge tool is the opposite of burn this will bring back some color um, this will if we do it right here on the edge. I can tell that um, Brightening up the image really makes it blend better especially with a nephew Carson's skin tone See right right there in the the nose area especially it's looking pretty Pretty ugly so let's, um, swap back to the mask hit B and just actually go here see race some more of Trump's face go and then if we come into here it actually brings back some of Trump's face here I know this nose cuz like we just bring back his nose right here swap back there and size it down with the bracket keys not too much too much too much this is the history button right here so if you bring that up it'll, it'll bring your history up and you can go back really quick so let's hit brush again too much let's bring that opacity down with the cuss opacity down even more Just, just honestly guys just mess with it until you get the desired product that you want hold those up the hole Oops. now we can darken it That is not perfect, but you get it. Get the picture. <laughs> and now we swap to the 
brush tool here. B. Race it, make it blend more with Carson's nose. And it looks a lot better. Look at that. Boom. Still looks like Trump's nose, but then it, it blends way better with Carson's. Sweet. So, um, everyone knows this isn't perfect, but that'll do, donkey. That'll do. Sweet. Is there anything else that we can do to make it look better? I mean, I honestly, guys, like, I don't know what else you guys would want to learn right now. If there's, like, a specific face you'd like me to, to tweak, I could do another face. I could do whatever. I mean, it's not really that hard of an effect. I hope this answered your question, bro. Um, this whole tutorial was actually made for this Diego Galejos. Diego, I hope that you learned something, man. I also hope that you guys can all tune in next week for next week's tutorial. I'm, I'm actually really liking doing these live stream tutorials. This is only the second one, and I think it's going really well. Remember, guys, tune in next week, twitch.tv slash lmgood. Also, don't forget to leave the video a like and comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. And also, hit that notification button because if you don't hit the notification button, you won't be able to see the videos first. With that, guys, I will see you on Friday. Peace.